Hello, hello, people of the internet, the answer, the freedom stories are here. And I'm finally back in my kind of normal recording space, finding a little bit of time to start doing, um, like, let's say, normal videos that I do, more sitting down, more in the office. And I'm pretty close to finding again time to do, uh, let's say, an astrologi astrological one, um, something, you know, I, I have some some themes cooked up that I want to present to you and, and give you some insight on. But today I wanted to give you more of a shorter video, but I also wanted to propose a challenge within this video specifically to do with creating things and, and asking for the things we want in life. So there are many ways, many, let's say, approaches to this. And I talk about it, I think, a lot on this channel as well, you know, asking for things, being, being, on commu being in communion with, you know, spiritual side, the other dimensions, your spirit guides and kind of like um, the forces, the invisible forces, let's say. There are many videos on this channel that I, I do um, talk about this topic, so please go and check them out. Um, also... In this specific video, I want to talk about um, this theme again a little bit, and then let's do an example, and let's uh, let's also do let's say uh, a challenge together. Uh, so, when we think about you know things in our life, so sometimes there's some challenge, there's some problem, there's some something that we want but we yet don't have, and you know this can at times cause us suffering, pain. Um, you know, feeling that, you know, life isn't on our side or, you know, there are kind of like forces against us and, you know, maybe society and, you know, blame starts, judgment starts often as well. Now, <clears throat> I'm going to propose a different way of approaching the things and, and kind of uh, interacting with everything there is, and which is, you know, being in connection, being in communion uh, with with everything there is and actually life itself so this means keeping an open mind being curious and asking questions about it so there's usually something very specific that you want in life that you want to experience in life but you know in that moment it's not there so very often you focus on the things that kind of like stopping you or or are or, or challenges or, or you know there is not there isn't an approach yet in that moment of, of how can I get it? So this is like the first part of this approach that I have. So how what can I do right now and, and how can I get it? First and foremost, you need to also, when, when there's a lot of emotionality and, and feelings and emotions coming up, you need to, you know, understand and, and almost like come into the present moment um, in order to understand what it is that you truly desire and want. Now, this can sometimes, again, take longer. So this is this is the process where I you most often I call it like setting the intention or getting clear is, is the better one, like getting clear of what it is that I actually want. So this very often needs a little bit of soul, soul searching, um, you know, quiet time, definitely meditation. You know, being on your own a little bit to kind of dial down the noise, everything that is coming from the outside, from people close to you, and, you know, some sometimes even like the um, more negative emotions that might be cooking up. So first and foremost, get clear on what it is that you actually want. Now the second part, when whenever it is, whenever the desire is, is clear or, or clean, or let's let's put it that way, it's time to kind of start asking questions and okay, how can I get it and what do I need to do it? And this is this is where you, you the communion, I would say, with with the bigger forces or, or life itself actually starts. You now, if you're more like left brain and kind of like earthly and material, it doesn't mean that you need to start, you know, spirit guides and you know immediately go into that space if you're not open to it yet. Go, you know, think of it as you interacting with life in a, in a very kind of um, open manner. In, a, in an open dialogue with like life you're you're in a, directly in an open dialogue with life and now you, you've gotten clear what it is you want it's time to start asking 
and what it is that you actually desire and want. And the clearer you can make this desire and the clearer you can you can make this uh, ask, let's say, uh, the easier it starts to manifest or be created into your reality. And also it's important to understand that, that the more you do it, the, the more time you take for it, this means, you know, you know, might you do it every morning, every evening, every, you know, and continuously do it, you know, during a month or continuously doing for three months, for example. And for bigger things, you know, it, it does, it, it does require, um, you know, even, even longer. So let's take, uh, let's take an example as well. So I, I will share you, I will share with you a personal example of what it is that I'm doing right now with this, and what am I asking, and what what I understood what is happening. So <clears throat> for um, for about let's say uh, like two or three weeks ago, I discovered something within myself. Uh, let's say um, a deeper wound, a deeper pain, and 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 even. Like we can call it like an energy that, that that's still within myself that I literally um, couldn't see myself very clearly, and I needed uh, one of my mentors to kind of reflect it, and and you know the, even not only her but uh, the the outside the the people uh, the society the audience to reflect back on back on me, and I I had to go really deep within myself to to discover this pattern so after discovering this pattern a lot of emotions and feelings came up and, and even struggle and and pain and 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 hard, hardship I would say and, and and let's say an ungroundedness within myself really uh, came to the surface now i didn't really understand within those um places or, or moments you know where 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 those emotions are kind of like running wild let's say what it is that i actually want to do with this uh, how i want to move forward with it and i needed a little bit of time to get clear so you know i did very basic things i, I took my you know son for a walk you know um went into the woods a little bit just had a walk there you know these types of very simple things um, for many days, you know, took him out very purposefully. Obviously, he he had his sleeping time, but 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 the main thing that was happening within myself was I was using this time to kind of ground myself, to kind of have this inner dialogue with myself, to get clear on what it is that I actually want to do with this and how I want to move forward with this. Now, <clears throat> after that, um, a more clear desire or a more clear intention. Um, came with this because you know this this specific pattern of of um, um and maybe i should actually name it and this is this pattern was actually um feeling not worthy as a man or or like even um worthless as a man and from especially from a creator man perspective you know creating things and making things in the world and there was i discovered some um let's say painful things from my past that are, were kind of like holding me back doing things that i really wanted to do and wanted to kind of um make and create in the world and put out into the world actually so <clears throat> as you can see you know this type of pattern is quite deep you know being worthless as a man or thinking or believing and even holding the energy or inside that I have some I'm not good enough as a man to create or make this thing um, into the world and, and uh, as you can imagine this type of discovery in it of itself takes time to understand it takes time to kind of digest and to to go through the pain so once I was was kind of like doing that and started to get clear I understood that it is now the time for me to start asking to be that for that energy to be cleared from within my consciousness from in my being from my beliefs uh, the ideas and 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 um kind of um, even because it was so deep i didn't know that it was still there it was subconscious so 
even on a subconscious level now it's of course of course it's on a kind of like conscious level it's it's here it's in my face but you know these things thing take longer to to clear let's say and to to release and um now i'm actually in the process of every day um being in prayer with this specific um pattern i'm asking this to be cleared in the best uh, th this is i think also important the wording the the kind of intention you're setting with this whenever you start to do with this do this on your own is I'm asking it personally to be cleared in the best possible, most comfortable way for me personally and for new, more confident, more certain of myself, more grounded energy and, and, and kind of like, um, yeah, more, more purposeful energy to come actually in, um, how do I put this now? um instead this is the word i'm looking for instead of that energy so just going to you know uh, reword it again so in the best possible way um have this energy within myself cleared and bring instead of that energy bring a new more confident more um sure of of myself more more stronger energy instead of that old energy to me or even within me now obviously this can the way you word it the way you understand it and especially with these deeper patterns this can change while you do this you know you you feel like this word doesn't isn't a real you know the correct one let's say let's put it that way or you actually understand that hmm so this is not um, working or i need to change something i need to shift something that is that is definitely okay that happens all the time for me and i kind of understand it better what i what i actually want to do with this and what i'd want to do with this energy specifically and now what actually starts to happen when you start to do this and when you start to commune like this um first and foremost a lot of the times it takes a little time for things to start moving now the second part is you know people come information comes understanding of yourself comes memories start coming your way the, the right classes, the right teachers, the right kinds of understandings, the right um, people to support you in building this deeper energy within yourself start to come. And al already for me, a lot of indications, um, let's say from the outside, have already come to kind of actually confirm the opposite side of, of let's say, my masculinity, my... my the way I create things, the way I make things in the world, and how I've helped a lot of people that I did, even didn't know about, you know. And, you know, all of these kinds of things start to build that solid, uh, more solid foundation within yourself. Like right now, we're talking about this, my example specifically. Obviously, there are many other things, you know, you can ask money and, and stuff like that, but. Again, usually there's something in, 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 within you energetically that is stopping those things coming your way. And I'm, I'm giving you, let's say, a, a way of um, clearing this yourself. Let, let's put it that way. And this is one of the reasons I picked this image, you know, there, right there beside me is, you know, being open, being an open channel, being an open uh, vessel to commune with the universe, to commune with life itself and ask for new energies to come in, ask for new experiences, new ways of being within yourself to come in. And now I'll propose a challenge uh, for you guys as well. Um, for those of you who are comfortable, you can write down in the comments below, you know, what is it, what is the thing you're currently asking for? You know, it can be very practical, very material, very specific like a house or like a something da, da 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 money or new career or work or job or a car 
or it can be these deeper things that I'm discussing as well, because the, the thing that I'm working with right now within myself is this is actually the, um, the thing that will, will also help me to create, you know, all of these material things if, if I choose to do so, or like the more, um, let's say, spiritual um, tools for people to kind of interact with life as well. Now, I, I, for those of you who are um, courageous enough to share them openly and publicly, write them in the comments below. For those of you who are more, uh, let's say, maybe you don't want to share them so publicly, you can write them uh, on, on my email, ian at ianaltsor.com. And, you know, let's create things together. Let's make things together. Um, the part here that I really want to stress and kind of um, say to you that is really important. Um, the bigger the thing is, the longer it usually takes for things to start moving in the physical and material reality. Now, <clears throat> take uh, if, if you're very new to this, take something smaller. Take something that you, um, let's say, believe in already that you can kind of have or maybe there's a little bit of that hesitancy there take something you can you know create in a shorter period of time write it in the comments and let's do this um let's say creating things together challenge together and um let's see if we can create some force together um for us to to make new things create new things within ourselves and outside of ourselves and I'm really curious to hear what it is that you're actually wanting and desiring in life, what it is that you're actually really truthfully just yearning for. Uh, let me know and st let's start doing this practice. And, and it is more than a practice. It's actually just a way of interacting with this universe and a way of interacting with life itself. And it doesn't have to be all spiritual and all woo-woo. It's a very practical way of communing with life itself. So guys, please let me know in the comments below what you're creating, what you're desiring, what you're wanting. And um, let's, let's do it together. See you again soon in the next video.